Buenos dias! Welcome to another daily devotion. I'm your host, El Padre. Welcome. Hopefully you are excited about reading today's passage. It is Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 27. I'm excited because this is one of my favorite stories. Uh, I always loved this one growing up as a kid. Uh, and really the whole, the, the whole section today is a favorite of mine. So I, I'm excited. So one of the things that uh, if you haven't, first off, if you haven't read it yet, please go read the passage, then come back and we can discuss it. We can have a little chit chat. So one of the things that I was thinking about uh, because today's story is about Zacchaeus. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to sing this song. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. The Lord, the Lord he wanted to see. Uh, and then there was usually a lack of guitar solo that goes... Anyway, um... I love, love that song growing up. I always thought it was fun. Uh, and then there's there's more words, but to be honest, I don't remember words to songs very well. So uh, let's, let's just read, because that'll be better for all of us. Verse 1. He entered Jericho and was passing through. There was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see Jesus, who Jesus was, but he was not able to because of the crowd since he was a short man. So running ahead, he climbed up a sycamore tree to see Jesus, since he was about to pass that way. I want to help all of us understand. So when I was a kid, uh, my lens for this particular story was where I live. Where I live, there are trees everywhere. Um, it's, It's not hard to go somewhere to find a tree beside the road. Uh, it's not hard to, to find lots of different kinds of trees. And so when I pictured this, it, to me, it wasn't really like, I, I don't know that it was fully what it should have been because um, I'm imagining Zacchaeus climbing up a tree. There's a lot of trees and Jesus, ha- like, you know, like the Lord tells him, oh yeah, like that's the guy. Uh, that's the guy you need to stay with today. Uh, like the Holy Spirit puts that on him, or maybe like the Lord told him, like the, the Father told him through prayer or something, I don't know. Uh, but uh, that's what I always imagined, was just Jesus figuring it out because like he was hidden because he's in a tree. Um, I, as, <laughs> as a kid, I loved to climb trees. Uh, and In fact, um, there was one time we had this tree when I lived in Warsaw that I climbed and I fell out of. And when I landed, I landed sitting down in this like outdoor chair that we had. And I never, never forgot that. But Zacchaeus doesn't fall out of the tree. Uh, but he, li- he, he lives in, this is what's interesting, is Jericho is in what's called a wadi which is basically, um, it's the middle of nowhere. It's the wilderness. It's a desert. Uh, there are a bunch of pictures of, um, like, the road to Jericho, uh, the roads going in, the roads going out. And while there are trees galore in Jericho, there are not necessarily a ton of them on the road. Uh, there are some, but not a lot which kind of gives you this picture of, like, I want to pull up uh, a couple pictures for you. This is a picture of Jericho, and you can see that there, there's trees, there's bushes, like, there's some stuff, but for the most part, it's, it's, just, it's just a desert. And so um, the road going to and from was considered this wild uh, be, just wild road because uh, thieves and criminals and all these people, uh, beater uppers, uh, they would hang out on this road and wait for people and they'd come, beat them up, take all their money, leave them for dead. In the, the story of the Samaritan, um, like there, there's the, the Good Samaritan, probably a road that they would have imagined 
would have been this road because it was awful. Uh, and Jericho is regarded as the lowest city in all of Israel and potentially the world. Uh, it sits super low. So people coming into it, you have to walk along this, this very uh, rocky, mountainous road. And then the, the one going to Jerusalem, is he, it's just like all kinds of crazy town. And so when Jesus sees Zacchaeus, there, there's a, probably a very good chance that Jesus actually saw him a long way off. Um, but it says that, uh, in, let's see here. Uh, when Jesus came to that place in verse 5, he looked up and said to him. Now, did Jesus see him from far away? Did he just notice him when he walks up? Who knows? Uh, but he said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down today because it is necessary for me to stay at your house. So this is, um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, let's, let's, let's rewind a teeny weeny bit. Uh, it says that, at, that he was passing through Jericho. Uh, so which it probably means that he was walking in the road comes like this and then it goes off like Jericho is in modern day Palestine um, and so uh, he, Jesus is, is passing through he's on his way to Jerusalem uh, there was a man named Zacchaeus so the name Zacchaeus is really interesting to me the name means clean and pure uh, but yet he's considered a chief tax collector. The word would be modern-day publican. The Romans, in an effort to save time and money, would make taxes available to what would be considered a publican or a tax collector. And you would have the chief guy as somebody who would go to the Romans. They would put a bid on your tax for the area. They would themselves be responsible then to pay those taxes and then... Uh, at the end, when, like when we have tax day and you potentially would get the refund, this person would get the refund, uh, the interest rate, so to speak, on that tax money. And then uh, from there, he would be responsible to charge whatever he needed to to the people to make sure that that amount was covered so that the expense didn't come out of his own pocket. Uh, and so oftentimes, because of that, uh, these tax collectors were able to take as, as much money as they deemed fit uh, as a lot, in order to pay what, what they already owed. And so uh, you could think of it very similarly to like some of these companies that buy um, debt, like uh, collection agencies will buy the debt off of different people, uh, different or, uh, companies or whatever, and then they'll charge you like uh, interest or, or whatever. It's, it's kind of the same idea. Uh, and so this pure, clean guy, uh, who also happens to be short, uh, climbs a tree, Jesus sees him, and then he says, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, because today it is necessary for me to stay at your house. Uh, the, the culture of the Hebrew people, the culture of the Jews, the Middle Eastern culture as a whole at the time, and all throughout biblical history, uh, there, there's a responsibility for people who are not from your community to, to be able to stay in homes. Now, there were some hotels, motel-type situations, but for the most part, um, people stayed in, in people's homes. Uh, and so, let's, let's, let's continue on. It says, So he quickly hurried down and welcomed him joyfully. Zacchaeus is excited. Jesus is here. He's coming to my house. And all who saw it began to complain, he's gone to stay with a sinful man. Uh, this is a man whose reputation has preceded him. Uh, this is a man who, like, the people aren't excited Jesus is going to stay with him. Uh, and so it says this, Zacchaeus stood, stood there and said to the Lord, Lord, I'll give half of my possessions to the poor. Lord, and if I have extorted anything from anyone, I'll pay back four times as much. You see here, uh, this is repentance. Uh, this is also a word called restitution, which means uh, you're, you're making your wrongs right. And so in uh, the Old Testament, there are a lot of laws that God gave uh, regarding restitution. So like if you steal a sheep, you would oftentimes have to give back four sheep. So it would cost you 
something in order to steal. Uh, and so this guy here is, is sort of applying this principle of restitution saying, look, I will, I will fully make it right. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I'll pay back four times as much. Extortion is obtaining by force, threat, or unfairness. And so he, he's saying that because of my career, if, if, if I have used force or threat or using any unfair means, if I've charged people way more than I should have uh, in order for me to become this ridiculous sort of rich uh, if I've encouraged my employees who will be tax collectors, if I've encouraged any of those guys to, to be stealing money, I'm going to write everything that I have wronged. Uh, and so this is repentance. This is somebody who is changing their belief, their behavior upon meeting Jesus, going from being somebody who is unrighteous to someone who is righteous because of Jesus. And Jesus' responses today salvation has come to this house this house salvation has come to this house now i, I want to share uh th there's a a fella in the community that has a a fairly bad reputation um he he would be somebody who's considered very similarly to this zacchaeus guy he he doesn't uh he's made a lot of enemies he uh, his employees don't speak well of him. His neighbors don't speak well of him. And I was talking to somebody and they were saying, oh, like, you know, God can save anybody but that guy, basically. What was the, the nature of this the, uh, talk? Uh, but think about this. How many people probably around Jesus in this crowd were thinking to themselves, Jesus save anybody else like we don't like this guy he's offended us he's robbed us he's stealed from us stolen from us he's a traitor uh jesus save anyone else please uh and, and yet here is a guy who is so hungry for jesus uh that he 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 climbs a tree because he's at a, a height disadvantage and he climbs this tree and then the moment jesus is interacting with him he's immediately like i'm going to change everything uh, about what i have been doing i'm going to make it all right and jesus says that he has been saved salvation has come to this house today uh, because he too is a son of abraham this is interesting that jesus is saying that when we are saved when anyone is saved when salvation comes to your house you too are a son of Abraham. Um, and then he goes on to say this, for the son of man has come to seek and to save the lost. Uh, we talked about this the other day uh, when we were talking about the parable of uh, the, the lost coin, the lost uh, sheep, uh, and the lost son, where uh, Jesus is arguing basically with these uh, legalistic uh People who are, are, are saying, oh, you know, uh, this guy was so bad or these, these things were so bad. And, and Jesus makes, tells these three parables in a way to say that, that he came to save sinners. Uh, he, he, and Jesus, he comes and he, he accepts everyone where they're at. But listen, he doesn't leave them where they're at. He transforms them. Uh, the presence of Jesus transforms them. And so this, this uh, Zacchaeus, this clean guy, goes from being very dirty uh, to becoming very clean because of uh, his choice to repent to Jesus. And so um, today I just want to, I want to challenge each and every one of us, like, what is it in us? Uh, because what, what, what tends to happen is we become more like the crowd instead of more like Zacchaeus. And instead of responding in humility and responding, recognizing that we've all messed up and that we all need Jesus, more often than not, we're sitting around like the crowd judging guys like Zacchaeus who are coming to Jesus saying, I want to write everything that I have ever done. I want to correct these wrongs. So let's pray. 
Jesus, we ask that you would uh, work in every one of us. Lord, we pray that you would help us uh, to make wise choices. Lord, we pray that we would submit ourselves to you. And Lord, we ask that you would guide and direct uh, these people who uh, maybe, Lord, some of us have made some wrongs. So, Lord, we ask that you would help each and every one of us to be righteous, to repent, to be humble. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining today's Devo. We hopefully will see you very soon. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, and we will see you all tomorrow. Check out the description section for some of the other resources that we have available for you. Thank you so much.